Welcome to the World Tarot. This is a series of Divine Feminine Diaries for the 27th of September 2022. King of Wands. Fast action here. Somebody's working hard at taking action towards Divine Feminine. Could be a fire sign, could be a Leo. What should Divine what does Divine Feminine need to hear right now? Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah, there's there's new love here, possibly. Or somebody's expressing their feelings. Four of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Could be your divine masculine. Could be somebody who wants to marry you. Let's see. Who wants to express their feelings to divine feminine here? Who wants to express their feelings? Six of Wands. Yeah, fire sign. Could be a Leo. Like I said first time. Number six could be significant. Could also be an air sign. Is this your divine masculine? Is this divine, her divine masculine here? Is this her divine masculine? Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups. This could be somebody who broke your heart or somebody who's heartbroken. Okay, what's the Three of Swords? Why is the Three of Swords here? Because of the Nine of Pentacles. There could be a third party here. Somebody could be in a relationship, another person could be single. Four of Wands again. Or this person has been um, single for a long time because they were heartbroken. Eight of Pentacles. 98. Maybe they've been single since 98. <gasps> I don't know. Something could have happened in 1998. I don't know. Or they're born in 98 or something of the sort here. Uh, Nine of Swords reverse, getting over some kind of anxiety. Nine of Cups. Look, nine, nine, nine. Okay, so this person um, has been heartbroken in the past. And this person has had a hard time getting over the heartbreak. They were single for a long time. But they're getting over their anxiety because they want to have a wish fulfillment with you here. Ace of Wands. This person could be very attracted to you. What? Okay, two six of swords. This talks about moving into calmer waters. It could also talk about traveling. Maybe they want to travel with you somewhere. Or they want to travel to you. King of Wands again. So yeah, it could be a Leo here. Five of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Thirteen, the number thirteen. Thirteen and ninety-eight could be significant numbers here. This person could be born on the thirteenth. Also, the, the 3rd of January or the 1st of March could be significant. A3 is a paper format too, so this person might uh, draw your picture on A3 paper. I don't know if this person can draw. But the Five of Cups reversed. This person's coming out of some kind of sorrow, some kind of sadness. This person could have been um, crying over spilled milk for a long time because of something that happened in their past. But they're getting over this. And it's like this person wants to offer you something. They want to offer you stability. This person might even ask you to marry them or something. So I'm not sure how this is going to work here. Let me see what's happening with my food. Okay. <clears throat> they want to end something. They want to end feeling heartbroken and sad here. Yes. And they feel, they feel like you can help them end their sadness. Look, we've got three aces here already. So they want a new beginning here with you. Is this person hoping you're going to fix them or something? This could be a, a new person actually, but this person has been stagnant in their love life for a long time. Does this person hope you're going to fix them? Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, 82, something about 82. Somebody could be born in 82. Uh, so he wants to walk away from what no longer serves him or her or you and be together. The Fool. He wants to feel free. He feels like he can be free with you. That his freedom would be um, to be happy with you. Ten of Cups. Okay, so he feels like you're his Ten of Cups. Can you trust this offer here? Can you trust this person? 
Can you trust this person? Two of Wands. Hmm. Eight of Wands. Look, 20, 82, now 28. Two of Wands is making a choice. You have choices, maybe. Maybe you have a choice between this person and somebody else. Is there a choice here? Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. This, again, it talks about being stuck in some kind of situation here. But it talks about being stuck single. So I don't... I think you're both single here. But you could be afraid to deal with this person because maybe you have heartbreak of your own. Maybe this person is a karmic though. There's a trap here with the Eight of Swords. What's, what's the Eight of Swords? Clarify. Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups. This person with the Eight of Swords is uh, clarified by the Five of Wands. It could be that this person has um, a negative mindset. This person could be very conflicted. What's, what's the problem? What's with the Eight of Swords here? Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups. Somebody could be very guarded. Somebody could have a very hard time deciding. You might be afraid that this person is love bombing you. Maybe you're blocking this person or you blocked this person. If you dealt with this person in the past, you could have blocked them or you're very guarded towards them. Is this you? Are you guarded towards this person? Yes, it's you. Knight of Wands, the Fool. You might feel like this person is a player or something of the sort. Or you might feel like this person is childish, like they're just love bombing you, they're tricking you. Like this person just wants to date. They could have multiple partners or something. So maybe this person seems to be single, but they're actually dealing with multiple partners, or that's what you're afraid of. Are you right about this person? Are you right about the... Yes, you are. <laughs> that was quick. But all the aces are out. There you go. All the aces are out here. New beginning. Maybe not with them, though. Four of Cups, Rejection. Five of Pentacles. The end. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't think you want this person at all. And this person could be heartbroken because you don't want them. But you're right about the fact that this person is dating multiple people. That they're a player. And they could be uh, a karmic. Maybe you know this person's a karmic here. Is this your karmic? Is this person a karmic to you? Let's see. King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Well, the King of Pentacles could be your Divine Masculine here with the King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six, Six. The 6th of June, maybe they're a Gemini. 6th of June is Gemini season. Or, I don't know, something about Six, Six. They could be born in 66, I don't know. Uh, I think you can have a ba balanced relationship with this person here. A stable relationship. So there's some kind of soulmate here with the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. This could talk about delusions or confusion. Three of Wands. This person could be fantasizing about you a lot. They could be manifesting you or you manifested this person. Maybe you manifested this person from a place of fear or anxiety or something. So even this, though this person is a player uh, and they have multiple partners, I think they want to settle down with you though. Can you trust this person? Can you trust this person? Queen of Wands. Five of Swords. No, you can't. With the Queen of Wands, this person could be very sexual or they're very sexually driven or they're very attractive to you physically. But with the Five of... Oh my God, Seven of Swords. This person is playing mind games. King of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. This person is going to play mind games with you. Or they're playing mind games. 
they might also play on your emotions they might talk to you about their past loves about their past heartbreak yeah just leave them out in the cold take care of yourself ghost them yeah this is not the right person for you there's some kind of soulmate but um they're not good for you anything else you need to know about this person queen of pentacles we do have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles so but we've got four of swords here and four of cups rejection ghosting ghost and reject the king of swords or whoever this person block them you need to take care of yourself focus on yourself right queen of pentacles you might need to focus on your work too you've got to focus on other things not on this person or on love in general possibly you might need to follow your your path in life or focus on manifesting abundance nine of wands there's some kind of trauma that maybe you need to deal with queen of pentacles could talk about your health maybe you need to take care of your physical or mental health right now knight of pentacles five of uh, yeah in financial health too with the five of pentacles here so either you have some issues with your health that you need to take care of maybe you need to go i don't know exercise more eat healthier focus on your material abundance more you know so queen of cups your mental health too your heart you need to heal your heart so there's some financial issues there could be health issues there could be heart issues i put the queen of cups on top of the three of swords which is heartbreak so maybe you need to deal with some heartbreak two of pentacles and again i'm talking about i'm seeing this um somebody needs to focus on their career on their life path four of pentacles yeah somebody could have financial difficulties with all the pentacles here So queen of swords so somebody needs to stay single and focus on their health and their career at this time this is the message for somebody ten of wands somebody's very burdened somebody's uh, dealing with a lot of burdens a lot of responsibilities and I think if you um, were in a relationship with this person they would just add to your burdens instead of um, lightening your load here king of cups yeah again four of swords four of cups reject and ghost the king of cups so the guy might come and manipulate you they might come and express their feelings they might be very convincing but you have to ghost them and you you have to reject them and ghost them literally that's what i'm being shown look four 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 you are protected you might be protected spiritually from this person this person could be attacking you spiritually seven of swords yeah this person is doing something very dodgy very sneaky behind your back five of wands they're causing conflict so behind your back this man could be a uh, gossiping could be turning people against you they could even be doing spell work against you three of cups gossip again so these cards coming out like this look at that this is gossip this is somebody who gossips about you who talks crap about you who causes conflict maybe they're causing conflict for you at work this could be a workmate this could be a boss or this could be somebody who is calling your work and uh, talking crap about you to your colleagues to your boss or if you are an entrepreneur they could be uh, trying to turn other people from your business from your line of work against you making them think that you have problems with them that you're trying to cause conflict for other people so this person is riling other people against you and they could also be doing spell work against you wow yeah th yes exactly king of swords but it flipped in the reverse this is a king of swords reversed We have all the kings and all, all the queens came out. Some of them are underneath somewhere. Um, this person is trying to pretend like they're your divine masculine. They're not your divine masculine. This could even be somebody who watches readings themselves. And does spell work. Is this some kind of magician here? Five of wands, five of swords again. Five, five. They're causing conflict in, in your life. They want to cause changes in your life. They could be the one who's causing financial difficulties for you. They could actually be stealing from you. 
with the seven of swords that came out twice yeah they're talking crap to other people they're spreading gossip they're spreading rumors about you to make you look bad maybe to your family maybe to your friends this person could be riling up family and friends against you too so this person's doing the most for some reason this person could be obsessed with you possibly and they're doing everything they can to uh, turn people against you including your family and friends and co-workers or other other people who work in your same line of work etc yeah and this person could be causing a uh, conflict on purpose so that they can can come in and be the the savior so this is very sinister and very dangerous person knight of wands and they're a player too okay yeah you already know intuitively if, if this is resonating for you you intuitively know that this person is not right for you so yeah this is just a confirmation for somebody that's all i hope this helps take care